is the problem that I'm having here. This is first thing in the morning, Monday morning, 8 o'clock. You gotta love it. This is my personal review of the Houston House Apartments in downtown Houston, Texas. This will be in this, I'm creating a new channel specifically for this, so there'll be multiple videos. I'm acquiring as much uh, video as I can of the location before I do have to leave. Uh, my biggest reason for leaving, number one, is my health. If you've been watching my channel for any period of time, you know I have diabetes, so I cannot get this virus. I cannot get this virus. Uh, I, I do not want to die and I do not want to suffer and die. And I have fear of getting on my elevators. I'm on the 16th floor. You know how many stops and goes that let people on and off there are between here and the 16th floor, uh, either getting on from the elevator, uh, from the garage or afterwards. It is stressful to say the least, not to mention the amount of roaches that I have here. Yesterday morning, and I'm gonna show you this in a second. Yesterday morning, I opened up the toilet to see a roach run around the inside of the toilet. I snapped and I had to be talked down. I had to call someone to talk me down so I didn't go downstairs and speak to anyone. I, I'm upset right now because I actually just got a response for uh, the building manager. I've been uh, corresponding with someone weekly, begging him to help me, begging him to help me. Uh, I need to get out of here before I die or a roach gets here and I have a heart attack, whichever comes first. Uh, I'm an ex-Marine and I slept outside. By far, this is the worst place I've ever lived in my life in my life, and I've had quite a few apartments. My rental history is perfect, immaculate. I've never paid late, always paid on time or early, and early is on time as well. But this is one location, I'm gonna show you a few things, what it's like living here at the Houston House Apartments. This is what it's like. This is Thanks for the mask. So this is what it looks like from across the street. So, we're, if you're in my building, if you're in the Houston house, this is where you get to look at a newer building. But for those who live here, you know, we get to see a nicer building. For them, they go, all right, I gotta look at that. I have no idea. Summer sealed up with plastic. Again, they've been on this first section, this very first section, the far left side where they're banging at right now. Can you imagine that outside your door. Most of it's drilling too. And you can hear it all the way across the floor to my floor. But this has been like it since uh, February, since I moved in. I was told this would be done in three months. So I figured, how long could they block me off? What, a couple of weeks and they'd be done? No. So here, if you have food in the closets, you have to either wrap up the tops like these have been used. I have to rewrap it with uh, foil. It does have a top on it like this one, but you have to wrap it just so no bugs are trying to lick at the edge or leave whatever around the edge. So I put this on top of it. Yeah, I'm the type of person that faces all the stuff that's inside the cabinet. But I don't leave anything. If I open up a box like this is not open, even though it has individuals in it, I have one that I had to open up, like this one. It has separate boxes inside, but still, I don't leave it in there. Cereal, you have to put it in the refrigerator. You can't leave it in the closet because the bugs will get into it. Or corn chips, you have to put it in the bag. Or if you have something else that's like, these are individual bags of chips. Even though there's no open bags in it, you still have to tape it up just so no bugs get anywhere because they they're all over. It is hell. 
there when you have a glass or two or a fork or anything, you need to wash it right away. Before you're done, make sure you wipe up. You still soap. I don't get around the edges because that's where the guy put the bug powder, whatever that stuff is, down a week ago. But you have to clean here and clean here. And clean inside the sink. You use hot water. This is not typical living situation. Okay, here's the thing about the apartment. It's small, so I don't have room for a dresser. So I have to keep my clothes underneath. So what I did was I got a couple of these containers now, I know you think the bug may be able to get inside of these, but what I did was purchase these. And they're actually made by Hefty. So you put your underclothes in it, and there's a zip, zip lock. So you put all your clothes in it, and it gets pretty fat. Put all your clothes in it, stack it up high, and then sit on it, and all the air comes out so that it becomes pretty thin. And you can get a lot of clothes in here too. So, But this is what you have to do when you're living at the Houston house. There's another container also that I have. So this is another container that I'd recommend getting if you have to stay at the Houston house. This is totally sealed tight. No bugs can get in this. There you go. It is sealed tight. I don't know what this is, but once you clamp this on, I'd even go as far to say airtight just like the bags. So this is something else you need to think about if you're gonna live here. Get you sealed containers to put your clothes inside. So upset right now, I just saw a, to a bug in the toilet. I don't know if it was a roach or a spider or what, but this is freaking insane. And then I come in here and move this and there's another one in here. I'm freaking pissed. Financial education system called wins. Well, it's just saying that I have to live like this. <sighs> okay, guys, you know, I'm not the type of person that cares about what people think about me. Hence the reason I've put so many personal things out here for the past year or so. I really don't care what other people think about me. You know, what other people think about me is not my concern. And, I, and not much shames me, but this is one thing that I'm actually ashamed of, is the place that I currently live in. I've had the kids, my ex's kids come by, which are like my stepkids come by and visit me. The youngest boy saw last Sunday when he came by. I was in the sink washing my hands and just as he walks up, a bug is in the sink. And so I have to smash the bug and kill it. Of course, he goes back and shares this information. What was in my sink earlier? A beetle. A beetle? That was a roach. It was a roach. Was he roach? Don't say that. Yes, he got a little This is how I use information. Uh, and the week prior, the kids came by and our, our middle child was washing her hands in the sink after eating. And there was one in the sink, or well, climbing off the sink on the ledge of the sink between that and the stove. And I had to kill that. And of course she goes back and, and shares that information. It is embarrassing to have to say and admit that I have to live like this. I've been through a lot. 57 years old, I've never thought that I would have to live like this. But again, I'm doing this video to share because I wish someone had done it for me. 
I wish someone had told me before I moved in here that this is the experience that they could possibly have because this is real and this is my life and I'm here to share it. So that's all I can do. Uh, and, and of course, well, this is not all I can do. I'm doing other things also, but this is something that I have to do. I have to share this information. So there'll be a series uh, of these videos coming soon. So stay tuned. Uh, again, my channel is actually going to be Rob's Reviews. I've already started it. This, this will be on that channel as well. So follow along.